Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, I am going to talk about the most important and the most fundamental object-oriented programming concepts. But we are going to learn these whoops concepts with Rajiganth and Kamal Hassan. We are going to learn that with these. Well, we will go ahead with polymorphism first. What is poly? Poly means many. Morphing, changing the face. One thing appearing as multiple things as per requirement is called as polymorphism. Kamal Hassan is the best example. A legend who has played 10 different roles in the movie Dasavataram is the best example for polymorphism. One person appearing as 10 different characters is polymorphism. I can take plus as a symbol which is going to do addition when I do 5 plus 3 which results in 8. I can use the same plus operator as a concatenation operator and I can get Shri plus Ram as Shri Ram. So the plus played a role of addition operator, it played the role of concatenation operator just like how Kamal Hassan played roles in his movie The Savadara. One person playing 10 roles and it was a fantastic movie too. Well, it's fair enough to bring in Rajnikanth as well here but to learn inheritance. There was a movie but a old age movie uh, called Mundramuham. In that movie, there will be one father Rajnikant who will give birth to two Rajnikants who are his sons. This is the parent class. This father Rajnikant is the parent class who is a policeman and he has got two Rajnikants who are nothing but who are none other than his, his own children. But these two guys will have some of the characteristics which are inherited from father but they will have their own characteristics also. They are three different characters altogether but the children are inherited from the parent is the story. I have got a base class, I have got a derived class, the derived class is inherited from the base class and the derived class is free to have its own characteristics. These two Rajnis are having their own characteristics but they have definitely some impact, some sort of uh, inheritance which has happened from the parent Rajnikant too. So Rajnikant has also come to teach you object oriented programming. Now let's go to encapsulation. You must have seen these capsules at least once in your life till now. So do you ever know uh, what is the content inside, how did they bind it together, what are all the particles, chemicals inside? No, nothing, right? The capsules are the simplest and the best examples where you can understand that technically speaking encapsulation is data plus code together in one unit. Like this, I have got multiple things coming here as one unit and they are capsule. Many chemicals are bound together and it's capsule. I will have the data and code together and it will be capsule together through encapsulation. That's the simplest example. Abstraction. You guys love pizza, right? So it's, it's a very simple thing. You only know which pizza can you order and you can taste it. You never know what is the combination of the components inside, how did they make the pizza, all those things. The maker gives you only the final product. You get only the final product to eat and to cherish. You do not know the implementation details of it. I am making a product, I am giving it to you, you enjoy the taste of it and you give me comments. But I will not tell you how did I make it. As simple as that. So this is called abstraction. Hiding the implementation details and giving only what is required is called abstraction. That's all. These four are very very important when it comes to uh, object oriented programming. So I thought I can make it in a very funny as well as interesting way. I hope you liked it. In case you have any questions, suggestions, please go ahead and type it in the comment sections. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you. For